Well, it's that time of year once again where volunteers are preparing for the annual Stoddard Avenue Pumpkin Glow in Dayton. Now, that event was canceled last year because of the pandemic, but it is back with more than 800 pumpkins to be featured next week, just in time for Halloween. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley joins us live. She's been hanging out with the event volunteers today to see how they are getting that perfect glow. Madeline? <laughs> John, I'm standing inside the tent where the magic is happening. I've worked on about 10 of these myself, and actually one of the volunteers here told me that this part right here with these tiny little pumpkins is going to be part of a big part that makes a serpent snake, so it's pretty cool. Volunteers tell me that they're very excited from cutting and gutting everything here today, getting ready to see that big glow. Heidi Thomason has volunteered to help the annual Stuttered Avenue Pumpkin Glow come to life for the last six years. This is fun. <laughs> you can be a little kid, you know, you have to be a kid once in a while, right? Each year, hundreds of volunteers gather behind the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church in Dayton to prepare pumpkins for their big glow show. We are ready. We're ready to glow, and we couldn't do it without all the volunteers, and, you know, it takes a village and to do all of this. And I even got a chance to take a whack at cutting and gutting one of the more than 800 pumpkins in this year's event. Come on. Gotta put your back into Come it. On. Not as easy as it looks. Stuff's flying everywhere. The pumpkin glow started in 1993 by Judith Chafin with 36 pumpkins. Though Chafin has since passed away, her pumpkin glow lives on. All the pumpkins are displayed here on the hill, probably some on the other side of the tent as well, and um, they'll be lit up for the whole community to come out and see it. Though the event canceled last year due to the pandemic, Thomason excited to bring back the glow. And it's incredible. So, and the lights up everybody's face, young and old. You know, it's a good thing to see in our community. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's when people will be able to volunteer and carve these pumpkins. And then the big pumpkin glow event will take place on Monday and Tuesday. Those will be free. The tickets will be free for that. And people will not have to wear a mask because the event is going to be outdoors. Live in Dayton, Madeline Ashley, 5 on 2.